Hi, Mickey. Cade, you got some leaves? Oh, I think I see Mama and Sawyer. I see them. I think I see Mama and Sawyer. There they are. Hi. There he is. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Christmas is right around the corner and I wanted to share with you guys this really fun DIY project you can do with your camera to get some awesome, interesting shapes of highlights, especially Christmas lights. So let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. Now you'll notice that all of those little lights have a really cool, interesting shape. And the way I did that is with this cheap DIY filter. So this is just some construction paper. And what I did is I fitted it to my lens and I cut out a little rectangle to allow some light into my camera. And then over that rectangle, I can place different shaped filters. So here I have a little Christmas tree. Here's a little heart and here's a little star. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this. So here's what we'll need. Some construction paper, some tape, a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, and a pencil. We'll start off by creating a sleeve for our lens. So just make a little marking for how long your lens is on the construction paper. Go ahead and cut it out to make a little strip. Make sure it's long enough, fold it over, and then give it some tape. Next, we'll create the cap that will go on top of our filter sleeve. So the easiest way to do that is just to place your filter sleeve onto some construction paper, cut it out into that circular shape, and then you also want to cut out a little rectangle. This is going to allow the camera to see some light and allow us to place those really cool filters in front of it. Next comes the fun part. So just cut out a couple squares and make sure that they're large enough to fit over your cap. Then dry on some shapes and use an X-Acto knife to cut them out. For the settings, I recommend shooting in aperture priority and then lowering the aperture to its lowest value. Then jump into your ISO menu and set it to auto. If you have the kit lens, zoom all the way out to 55 millimeters to maximize the background blur. After you attach your lens sleeve, focus on your intended subject, then place your custom shaped filter in front of it to get interesting looks. And there you have it, a really fun DIY project you can do this holiday season. At least now we dad. At least now we dad. At least now we dad. <laughs>